Hello everybody, my name is Ryan. I'm here for my YouTube channel, Drum Set Lessons for Kids. Today I wanted to talk about the most basic thing I could think of, which is how to hold a drumstick. When I was a little kid, before I started learning drums, I always wondered, how do you hold a drumstick? Because you see from pictures and movies and TV all kinds of different things. Um, really, the long and short of it, in my opinion, is that it doesn't really matter. What matters is the music that you make. Uh, you know, are you holding the drumsticks in a way that let you play the music you want? If you are, great. If you feel like your grip, uh, you know, and the way you're holding the sticks, moving the sticks, uh, makes it hard for you to play music, then, then it's time to look at your grip and fix a few things. Now, there's two main ways people hold the sticks. One is like this, whether your hands are really flat with the, with the back of your hand straight up, or whether it's kind of turned more like this, you know, whatever, doesn't really matter. I think do what feels comfortable for you. Uh, the, other, the other common grip is called traditional grip. Well, this one you could just call a matched grip. The traditional grip uh, is traditionally where your left hand holds the stick like this. Now, just to clarify this, because I really wanted to learn this and thought it was cool when I was a little kid. You lay the stick kind of between, you know, right here between your thumb and your index finger. Um, you're about uh, a third of the way up the stick. Uh, where it's resting on your hand. You then rest the stick on your ring finger, right around the first joint and the, the bottom of your fingernail. Your index finger then kind of just drapes on top very lightly. Your thumb goes on top of that very lightly. And then your pinky and your middle finger pretty much do nothing. They just kind of stay in a relaxed position and stay out of the way. And when you play, you turn your wrist, you turn your hand and your wrist like this, just like if you were going to uh, do a 90 degree turn so that your palm faces up from sideways to up. This is the motion you get in your wrist. So when I put the stick in there and do that, it gives me this. Okay, That's how you hold a stick in the traditional grip. Traditionally it's done with the left hand just because that's uh, the way the drum would fit on someone's body when they slung it over their shoulder. 150 years ago, 200 years ago, or more, when drums were used in, in war as a signal to give to the troops. So um, that's how that grip works. Uh, is one way better, or um, does one way work better, or let you play faster, or anything like that? No, I don't, I don't really think so. There's drummers at a very high level in the world that play both ways, and in all styles. Um, there's rock drummers that play like this, um, there are jazz drummers that play like this, there are jazz drummers that play like this, there's, uh, you know, there's, it's just, it's all over. It, really, everybody does what they're comfortable with, comfortable with what they like, uh, and what lets them play the music they like. So, just to kind of recap real quick, you have this matched style grip. This is what I'd recommend for drum set, especially for beginners. Um, I think it's more practical for moving around the drum set quickly. Uh, I think it's harder to move around like this. But you do have this option, which is a, is a good option. A lot of jazz drummers tend to play this way because jazz drumming was kind of born out of that, that militaristic tradition. Uh, and it was kind of just the way to do it. And I think people have evolved more towards a match grip as they realized that this just might be a little bit more practical. Um, for me personally, I, I got in the habit of playing like this just because I thought it was cool. I just wanted to hold a stick like this. It's really comfortable for me. But there are times when I play rock and roll that I, I just feel like I can't hit as hard as I want to, as hard as I could if I was holding the stick like this and I could use more of my arm and, and get stronger wrist power. Uh, so I, I often play like this and then find myself switching to a mashed grip when I play rock and roll. When I play jazz, especially jazz with a small grip, I almost always hold the stick like this because I really need a, don't need a heavy touch. I can play lighter uh, and I, I can play with more finesse this way. Just me personally because that's how I've worked on it. So um, hopefully that's helpful to you. If you have questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Please email me at drumsetlessonsforkids at gmail.com and I will see you guys next time.